I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the LL Bean Personal Organizer Toiletry Bag, which I've been testing for about three weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's jump in. bag like this that spends time in the restroom is inevitably going to get wet. So it's really nice that the personal organizer here is made with water resistant nylon pack cloth. It does withstand, you know, any splashes from outside and also keeps any spills from inside getting out. And while apparently I need to do this, you can clean it fairly easily with just a little scrubbing in water and it, sh and it does clean up. I just apparently missed a few spots. So this is the small version and it also comes and it's a three liter size and they say it's good for one to two days of travel. I used this for a six day road trip and it was just fine. So I guess that's all just how you pack. Um, but you can also get it in a six liter, a nine liter, and a 16 liter family size if you need a lot of space or you're just the person who packs for your entire family. Um, obviously we have the black here. You can also get it at the time of this video in navy and red, and those all have these black YKK zippers with these black zipper pulls that all say LL Bean. And then there is also one other colorway available right now called Crisp La Peace. La Pie. Anyways, it's a blue with gray zippers. So if you wanted something a little different there, we've got the little LL Bean tab here. And other than that, there's no other branding around this bag. We do have also this very nice sturdy webbing handle, which is great for yanking it out of your travel backpack. And it's really sturdy. You can hang it up this way too when it's closed, but there's other ways to hang it once we get inside. So the personal organizer toiletry bag has four different sections. We've got three secondary compartments. So we're gonna go over those first. Um, this front one goes across the entire front flap and it really takes up the entire front flap too. You can shove things up there if you have thinner things that just slide up there. It's, I find it, it's really, it's good for thin things like I've got a makeup palette here. You don't want to put, you can't put anything super thick in there and you do need to make, be aware I guess, that if you put really tall things here, when you fold it over to close the main compartment, they've got to be able to give a little bit. So putting something stiff that is the exact height of this pocket makes it difficult to zip up. But as long as you're like below the zipper here so it can bend some, it's really not too bad. Then on either side here, we have these either uh, C or D shaped zippers, depending on which one you're looking at. They're one directional zippers and they open up to reveal, they each have these two elastic loops and one mesh pocket. You can see I've got here a travel size toothbrush, a razor, this is a full size razor so you can see that you can fit that. And I've got a travel toothpaste. Um, I don't have anything anymore sort of on this other side. But if you're not using all of the, the elastic here, you can see there's like this like little like shelf. So if you wanted to put like, I put like a pill bottle in there and it stays even when it's hanging, you can see it'll sit there. So that's really nice. These are also really great for like uh, cotton swabs for your ears or cotton balls, stuff like that. It's just, a little bit of organization to just use as you wish. But you will see, this is called an organizer after all. There's a lot of pockets all around this thing. So you'll be able to find a place likely for whatever you need. It's just a matter of finding the best place for what you're trying to carry, you know, to work best for you. The main compartment here opens with a dual sided zipper. So you just open it like that, and then you can see we've got a lot going on here, which is great. Um, 
We starting at the top, we have this nice hook. It's got this like triangle, it's attached with this triangular mesh and it's on a swivel. It's really great because you can hang this bad boy up like on the back of the door or a shower rod. And then you, you have access to everything, including, you know, you can open these side pockets and since it's all attached with elastic and whatever, you can just leave it open. You can access everything, which is really awesome. Really like that. Um, now you can see here, I have this really handy dandy mirror, which is great if you're getting ready, maybe outside of the bathroom, like, you know, your family members aren't getting out of it quickly enough and you still need to get ready. You can use the mirror here. Also, it's removable. So if you either don't need to use it or like you wanna see the back of your hair, you can use it that way. And if you take it off, you can see it attaches with the little hook and loop uh, fastener here and then we've got the other the fuzzy side of the hook and loop fastener here and the hook at the top the hanging hook also has some hook and loop fastener so you can secure that down and then when you go to um, zip it back up it won't be flopping around then of course you have to find a place for the mirror but there are plenty of places to just sort of slide it I ended up doing that a lot just sliding it down and then using this or leave it at home, or it really is not that big of a deal to just have your hook there too. Options, you have lots of options here. Starting at the top here, we have a very water resistant, um, plasticky pouch. It's got a zipper though, and the zipper is not AquaGuard on either or on any of these. So even though it's water resistant material, obviously if you really had a big spill or this fell in the bathtub, water's going to get in because they're not AquaGuard. It's just a regular reverse coil zipper there. Um, you can put slender things in here because it shares space with this front pocket. So I've got some makeup brushes there, works well, tweezers anything thin put that there now the second pouch has more uh, it's more barrel shaped because then when we fold this down you can see it's uh, it shares space with this top part where there isn't a lot going on so you have more space to put things um, here is a really great place for you know larger things that you don't want to leak out like I've got my makeup or you can put shampoo or lotion or you know thicker bottles that you then don't, you don't want to take the chance that they leak. Works really well there. And then we've got one more little mesh pocket down here. It's also slender because it sort of goes with, it matches up with this bad boy at the top there. And it's great for tweezers or nail clippers, just thin things, you know. There's so many pockets around here. You just find what works for you. Then we're not done. We've got two large pockets back here, which are good for larger things. Like I've got a travel hairbrush and I've got this sunscreen, just bigger things you can slide in there so you don't have to use just the teeny tiny bottles, which is great. And then on the front of it, we have more hook and loop fastener because this is a shower caddy with more pockets. So you can take it right in the shower with you and hang it up. And this dries really quickly too, which is really nice. You know, if you use it in the, in the afternoon or in the morning, by afternoon is dry, same thing overnight. So it works out really well. And then you have space, you know, you can just keep those things contained, take it in the shower, put it back, it's great. Um, so I do wanna mention before I wrap up here that hanging this is really the best option because you can see it's sort of it won't stand up really great, although you can prop it up against a wall. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're using it, that hanging is best. So there you have it, the L.L. Bean Personal Organizer Toiletry Bag. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.